Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop and we've had some interesting leaks, right? So first of all, the KD-17 has been leaked and we've seen a good amount of colorways on the KD-7 and we've seen a lot of on-foot shots, um, but we haven't seen what the tech is, you know what I mean? And uh, so for the past, like what? So we've had the KD-11, which was full-length zoom, 10 was full-length zoom, 9, 8, okay, so, okay, so, so, 8, 9, 10, 11 were all pretty much full length zoom. Uh, and then 12, 13, 14, 15 were all full length zoom strobel, right? And then, the, of course, the KD16, they switched it up. It has a large volume zoom unit in the forefoot and then uh, air strobel in the heel, right? Uh, so the KD17, we, uh, I was very curious, and a lot of you guys were very curious as well to what the cushioning setup was going to be. Uh, we've already seen like the traction pattern, which is pretty interesting. We have a very like wavy traction pattern, like and also KD's logo with like that. Uh, it says KD17, and then it has a midfoot shank plate, right? It's just TPU. Uh, but yeah, I'm very, very curious as to what that is in the forefoot. You know what I mean? So of course, the KD17 is heavily inspired by the Air Max is right the air max plus i believe it was right um so yeah we have an actual picture of the the heel right so it looks like it's air strobel you know and also as far as the foam goes it reminds you a lot of the kd11 you guys remember the kd11 and it was really caged as far as the actual like midsole goes but we can see the holes there's holes in the actual foam it looks like which is kind of crazy as far as the foam goes in the kd17 we don't know what it's going to be um but i'm guessing it's probably kushlon so holes in the kushlon that's pretty interesting um but obviously this is air strobel right and it's the exact same unit pretty much in the kd16 right but we don't know if it's full length or not but it looks like it's kind of stops you know what i mean if you look all the way at the edge of this picture it looks like the air strobel unit stops in the midfoot so it's probably a very similar a heel unit to the KD16, but it just looks very different because it has holes in the actual foam. But yeah, uh, the, it'll probably be a very nice unit. I do like Air Strobel, especially in the heel. Uh, but if you look at the actual outsole, right, with this color, which has a translucent outsole, we can see something in the forefoot. And this is the weirdest, weirdest looking zoom unit in the forefoot that I've ever seen. You know what I mean? So the regular shape of a forefoot zoom unit is usually uh, like a half circle kind of, you know what I mean? You know, the one found in like the, the PG1, the PG2, PG3, right? Uh, so that's the usual unit. And also, of course, another four foot zoom unit that Nike likes to use is a zoom turbo unit or a zoom stroll unit in the four foot, right? Um, and also I've seen like the uh, hexagonal zoom units as well, like kind of where the ball of your foot is. I've seen that as well. For example, like a LeBron 12. But yeah, this is such a weird shape. It's just a circle. And it looks like it's just, yeah, it's just weird. I don't know, that's just a weird placement. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just right smack in the middle of the forefoot. You know, it's not like, uh, usually they have it a little bit more towards the top, but it seems like it's a little bit more closer to the midfoot area as well. So I don't know what's going on there. When I first looked at it, I thought it was gonna be like a full length air struggle unit, right? With like a zoom unit in the in, in the forefoot that's bottom loader. Uh, I, I, I believe the Zion one had that, right? It was full length air struggle and then a zoom unit in the forefoot bottom loaded, I believe, right? Um, but this seems different because it has, it looks like the air struggle unit is just in the heel. And then we have a zoom unit in the forefoot, which we haven't seen, but it looks like it's bottom loaded though. You know what I mean? Because you can see it from the bottom, you know, it might be a, a very thick unit where it's, you know, you can see it from the bottom and it also encompasses the entire kind of like thickness of the midsole. So it might be top loaded, but I have my doubts on that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a very similar setup to the KD16. And I guess, you know, KD just, he got sick of full-length zoom struggle. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty much the same exact cushioning setup as the KD-16, just a little bit different, right? And we have this kind of pink colorway, um, but yeah, this, it, it, it it's growing on me. It definitely looks a lot better than the KD-16 in my personal opinion. As far as the upper goes, for this pink colorway, we have this like mesh or actually like textile mesh material. It also has a little bit of fuse around the tip of the toe. And obviously this plastic cage, which is heavily inspired by the Air Max Plus. The swooshes in the heel, we have some like synthetic leather it looks like in the heel and then uh the cushion you know the actual midsole doesn't look that cage which i do like so the uh, for the past like what 
the KD14, 15, and 16 had Kushlon and it was uh, it was pretty dang soft. You had a good amount of compression, especially in the heel. So uh, yeah, this will probably have a very nice cushioning setup, which I'm super excited about, right? Also, another shoe that was just leaked is the GT Hustle Academy, right? Uh, so it says, if you look at the actual tongue, it says GT Academy or GT Hustle Academy. So there you go, right? Some people were saying it's the GT Hustle 3, um, but it's not. It, it literally says GT Hustle Academy on it. It also says Flying It. You guys remember Flying It? I'm, I miss Flying It. I, I really do like Flying It. Sometimes they, they glue it a little too much, but honestly, I, I feel like it's better than just a synthetic material. And also mesh sometimes, or usually is not super supportive, you know? So uh, I like how they're bringing Flying It back. However, this is probably a budget shoe, right? And uh, let me tell you guys, a lot of people are wearing the GT Cut Academy. I've seen that shoe a a lot and it's a very cheap shoe it's a very nice performing shoe as well right so uh you know with that kind of like 90 to 100 10 dollar price range i feel like nike sells a lot of shoes so that it just makes sense you know what i mean and this is the cheaper version or the budget model of the actual gt hustle and the gt hustle 2 is all right you know and also the gt hustle line it used to be called GT Run, but they changed it to G GT Hustle. So yeah, as far as the cushioning setup goes, we have no idea what the cushioning setup is. You know, it doesn't really say anything as far as like, you know, Zoom or anything, right? It just says GT Hustle Academy, you know? And usually if they have a Zoom unit, it says Zoom GT, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm guessing they're not using Zoom because this is probably gonna be like a $90, $100 shoe. And usually if it's that cheap, Nike doesn't like putting zoom units inside of the shoe. So I have my doubts on that, but as far as the foam goes, I'm not 100% sure, right? So the GT Cut Academy was using Renew Foam. So this looks like Renew Foam, but also as far as like the, the design of the midsole here, it looks exactly like the Kai One. You know what I mean? With that kind of like, like oval pattern, you know, it kind of looks like a, a water drop a little bit almost, you know what I mean? But yeah. Uh, hopefully it's a nice soft foam, but it looks very, very thin. It looks like you'll have really good court feel. And honestly, with this triple black, it looks really nice. You know, the overall design looks great. Um, and it's just a good looking shoe. And it says GT here in the forefoot on the midsole as well with a swoosh. And we have just a regular swoosh on the actual upper as well in the midfoot. And the fly knit looks pretty dang good. As far as like the quality goes, uh, it looks a little cheap as far as like the overall like knit material goes, but uh, hopefully they didn't glue it down all too much. But I am pretty dang excited because you know, cheaper shoes, you know, a lot of people buy cheaper shoes. And if it's a good performer, uh, that's also a very good thing we can see the foam coming up acting as a sidewall in the forefoot and also in the heel which is good for lateral containment but yeah as far as like uh cushion goes i would okay so if it's renewed then it'll be pretty nice but one thing that nike can do to improve their cushion in their cheaper shoes because like i said they don't like putting zoom in their cheaper shoes is use a soft mesh stroke board please for the love of god you know what i mean like nike usually gives us a very very stiff stroke board especially on their cheaper shoes you know so under underfoot cushion and step and comfort is not nice so if, uh, one way to improve that is just put a softer strobe board in. You know what I mean? Uh, even like Rigor with the AR1, uh, even though it's an EVA, like a pretty stiff EVA, they have that soft mesh strobe board. So the step and comfort is pretty nice. You know what I mean? And same thing with like a, a lot of other shoes, like the Kai one, the Anta Zap one, they all have soft mesh strobe boards. And um, because of that, it's really, really nice cushion underneath your foot so I, I wish they would start doing that especially if it's if it's renew foam i would i feel like it'll be pretty nice you know what i mean but i do have my doubts on that so anyways i'm very excited about the kd17 uh that should be coming out in a couple of months it usually comes out during uh the playoffs you know the, like the end of the playoffs you know um but yeah also the gt hustle academy i'm very excited about as well and i, I wonder how it's going to perform uh, next to the gt cut academy right but anyways tell us your thoughts on those shoes down in the comment section below and also the Kawhi 4 should be coming out soon as well a Kawhi Leonard has been wearing that shoe for a while now so I wonder when they're, when they're gonna release that you know and also of course we had the leak of the LeBron 22 which should be coming out probably kind of soon you know at least in a couple of months and also the Trae Young 4 the Donnie shoe 6 as well but anyways that about wraps it up thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one